I did a thing and I rented a gas station. <laughs> So I'm back in Iowa. This is my hometown and I came back for a few months. Well, in the meantime, we've decided to rent this kind of historic, cute little gas station and I'm going to set up my workshop in here and sell a little bit of jewelry. And I just love it. Come and take a look inside and see what it's like. space. So evidently these floors used to be so covered um, in dirt and grime, but they managed to restore the original floors. So this is the main space that I can set up a few tables. Oh, I just love it. I love like old vintage cool stuff like this. And then there's um, garage that's attached to it. Back in Stanton in 1915. Holy cow. So I think that's us down there. It wasn't even, it was just a like dirt road and like everyone parked their car right in the center. Huh used to look like around 2004. The guys that ran it. Late 40s, 50s. More of the downtown area that Stanton used to be. taking you along because I think it's kind of dark back here. Ooh. All right. So this is the old desk I'm talking about. How cool is it? Ah. And this is Mr. Wistrom because this used to be the Wistrom gas station. So we're going to dust this off. See what we can do. And what do you think about like this old like bench? I don't know if it's like a church pew bench. If I can get that cleaned up and put out front, I think that would be super cool. Oh, look at this space. This is going to be perfect for my photography because this is the type of setting and like wood, distressed wood that I use for all my photography with my jewelry brand. So I am in heaven that I got this little old dusty place. <laughs> and there's chairs. Oh, that's so great. That's wonderful. Maybe this little table. I think it's super cool. I love old dusty stuff. Of course, I have to brush the dust off, but oh, I think it's so cool. And the owners were so nice. They said, you know, whatever you want to use back there and fix up, um, you can use. So I assured them that I would take good care of everything that I used. Hmm. This used to be a little dingy um, gas station, so I'm sure this is like the original um, refrigerator that was here. How much were candy bars? I can't even tell, but just a few cents, I'm sure each. <laughs> huh. Working, but no candy bars. It's okay. Now, I don't normally like to put a lot of vlogs on this channel because I know most of you are here for my jewelry tutorials, um, but sometimes I like to give you an update on life and a lot has been happening and there's a lot of jewelry stuff that's gonna be happening with myself and my business. So I am back in, like I said, my hometown, 
I came up here just temporarily for a few months to help some family members out with things and um, I had I had the time to do it so I'm up here and I kind of got um, persuaded oh, it was an easy persuasion because this place is adorable but to rent out this little gas station so that I have some place to go that I can work on my jewelry and um, I can open up the doors and sell some stuff I guess I don't know there's a lot of really cool stuff that's going on in this town that we didn't have all of this stuff when I was here growing up but they are doing a great job at uh, developing the town there's more businesses this is the downtown Main Street area and they are redoing a lot of the storefronts um, the telephone company has like really put a lot of money and ambition into developing the town further knowing that there's a, a lot of potential and development happening makes it easier for someone like me to actually consider moving back to a small town so over the next couple months, I am going to be setting up shop in here and I'm going to take you along for the journey and I think it'll be pretty fun for you to see and oh my god, like I'm so dirty. I have been dusting off old tables in the back and I think I even like rubbed off an eyebrow. I don't even think my eyebrows are <laughs> right. So anyways, um, I'll give you a little tour. I'm going to set up the camera inside so we can all watch this place come together. today. My dad came over and we tried to lift it, which it weighs a ton, but it would not go through the door and neither would that bench. So we're going to work on getting that door open and pulling it around to the front because the front door is bigger. Hopefully we can get it in. more chairs back there my dad brought me that and I think I have some more desks coming um, this I found I figure I could do one of those displays with boards across <laughs> found this thing I got this pulled up 
So we're moving along. It's day two. Tonight I'm gonna go home and I've got some uh, like decorations and baskets that I want to kind of prepare and bring down here tomorrow, see how they fit. To your eyes, I see we're out of time. I guess no one's to blame, nobody crossed the line. I guess we couldn't see, somehow we couldn't feel. Maybe we rose so fast, maybe we got too high. But I 